Hello and welcome to web learning where knowledge is shared. In today's quick video I'll show you my new design that I'm sharing with everyone. This is a 7S battery holder. The design idea came from Jehu that I'm following for quite some time. Lately he started testing a PCB that he made, a 7S battery PCB that he made, in order to quickly build a small power bank that you can connect either as one or you can put them in parallel. Following his uh, videos I saw he had some issues with thermal cooling, the way that the PCBs were connecting and some other th issues that I thought I can uh, improve on his design. So I went to EasyADA and I drew quickly uh, seven batteries in series. I put a header for BMS, a small fuse, thermal fuse, a jumper for the thermal fuse, and some jumpers for the batteries and I'll show you how all of this is working. So starting from the top view all the batteries are, are sitting minus at the bottom plus at the top they're all connected in series in the bottom layer so this is the ground plane then the plus minus plus minus so one two three four five six seven the output of the 24 volt goes through a thermal fuse the thermal fuse also can be jumpered uh, with just a soldering iron right in those two pins so you don't have to place it. The output of the PCB is right on those M3 holes. This is a plus and a plus and this is a minus and a minus. So when you connect them the power between the PCB goes through the spacers. This is a connector for the BMS. There is ground B1, B2, B7 and 24 volts. At the bottom of each battery I made also a jumper so this PCB can also act not just as a 7S but it can be connected from 2S up to 7S. If you wanted the 2S you connect this jumper and this will connect to ground and you cannot put any of the other batteries. If you want 3S then you connect it here and so on. Looking at the bottom here is the ground this is connected to the top layer as a complete PCB cooling each battery is connected uh, with thick copper to the next one. Each battery is connected to the BMS using a small wire that is only 0.03 millimeters. This will act as a fuse for up to half an amp. Anything larger than half an amp, this wire will break. The difference in this battery design than the, what uh, Jehu used are the actual battery holders. Those are the battery holders that uh, I've chosen. Uh, they are better because of a few things. One, they have more pins to connect to the PCB. They have those clips to hold the PCB in place so it won't fall off. This is the biggest issue with the, the cheap holders that if you move them around, if you want to build your own battery pack and you want to take it, then you have to build a box and a case and you make sure that uh, they don't move. With those battery holders, nothing will move. Also, the clips and the battery and all the pins will dissipate the heat much better from the battery to the PCB. In the design that I made, the, the holder of the battery will solder completely to the PCB. So you get better thermal dissipation from the battery and the clip to the PCB. The next thing that I'm using, as I said, those are M3 spacers, but they are brass. Conductivity is much better. Uh, I will use most likely the 20 millimeters because the battery itself is 18 millimeters high. And headers to connect between the two PCBs. The next phase of this design, uh, if you want to join to any of my registered users, I'm planning to build a 7S CB with a microcontroller BMS. So the idea is to have one of the STM32 connected as a battery management system that will do overcurrent, overcharge, discharge, everything through the microcontroller with minimum parts. So if you want to join, put your name in the comments below and when I start doing the design, I'll uh, reach out for you and we'll see how we can do this all together. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and click the thumb up and leave any comments. Anything that you do will help this channel. Thank you.